will end it one way or another. Those words from the Secretary of State today when asked by lawmakers what should happen to TikTok. At the same time, other lawmakers hammered the CEO of the Chinese-owned social media app. Chief Washington correspondent Blake Berman joins us live. Blake, lots of interest in this hearing. Fiery uh, throughout the entire four or five hours or so, Nicole. One member of Congress today actually thanked the CEO of TikTok for doing something rare, which is getting Democrats and Republicans in Washington to agree on something a bit tongue in cheek, as you might imagine, as the idea of banning TikTok is starting to pick up some steam here in Washington. To the American people watching today, hear this, TikTok is a weapon by the Chinese Communist Party to spy on you, manipulate what you see and exploit for future generations. The volume turned up in the House Energy and Commerce Committee with the bipartisan angst focused on TikTok. You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee or the 150 million users of your app. TikTok source code is riddled with backdoors and CCP censorship devices. I still contend that TikTok is the spy in Americans' pockets. TikTok is the most downloaded app ever. Roughly 150 million Americans are monthly active users. Congressional and national security leaders worry that TikTok is beholden to the Chinese Communist Party and are concerned with how Americans' data can be used, along with whether TikTok's algorithm allows a foreign government to target and program the vulnerable and children. The committee will come to order. In his first congressional hearing, TikTok's CEO faced repeated questioning about TikTok's relationship to ByteDance, its China-based parent company, which has ties to the Chinese Communist Party. So the global workforce that includes ByteDance, which is connected directly to the Chinese Communist Party, that is a characterization that we d disagree with. Now, in the that's future... Not, that's not what we can disagree with. That's a fact. It's not, unfortunately. TikTok's future in the United States is still unknown. The company says the Biden administration wants its Chinese leaders at the company to sell their stake. There's also a bipartisan bill in the Senate that could allow the president to ban the app. But a ban could prove to be a political pickle, as TikTok is wildly popular among millennials and Gen Z. For example, the Commerce Secretary, Gina Raimondo, said in an interview recently, quote, the politician in me thinks you're going to literally lose every voter under 35 forever. The White House distanced itself from those comments, denying there are any political considerations involved with any future decisions. No, I mean, it, this is not about a political concern. This is about making sure um, uh, that we do the right thing for the American people. Nicole, I want to take you back to September of 2020, a few months before that presidential election. At that time, I asked then-President Trump if he would make a decision on the future of TikTok before or after the presidential election then. The president at that time told me he thought things would move, quote, very quickly. Fast forward now to some two and a half years later, and the future of TikTok is still very murky. It just goes to show you, Nicole, how complex this one really is. Nicole. Absolutely. Thank you, Blake. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.